relationships, right? Um, and relationships are so important mm. because I believe the age of individuality is ending. Today, everything we do, we do collaboratively. The world is just too complex for anyone to strike it out alone. And so we need people in our lives. And there's a funny thing happening in the world today. This was a report from a couple of months back. I think it was BBC. Loneliness is up 300% in the Western world. And, you know, this may sound surprising because, look, aren't we more connected, as Mark Zuckerberg says, with social media, with Instagram, with Facebook? Aren't we more connected than ever with our friends? Well, the answer is yes, but on a digital screen. And apparently that isn't enough. So loneliness is up 300%. And among people like you and me, the further you rise up to the top, the more lonely it gets. CEOs, 50% of American CEOs report feeling lonely. But here's the crazy part, right, Tom? Loneliness is as bad for your health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Yeah. It is worse for your health than obesity. So one of the things we're trying to do at Mind Valley is develop models to help combat loneliness. And so everything we do, every quest we, we put people on, our city campus is all designed to foster friendships. Mm -hmm. So we create programs that help you have better relationships with your loved ones, better relationships with your children. And we create platforms like Mind Valley University where a thousand people move to a city together and we create a campus on the fly, right? With many of the world's greatest teachers who come together, parents, children, entire families. And not only are people learning together, but they're forming tight bonds with others so that you never have to feel lonely again. And that's what that third vertical is about. It's about giving us stronger social bonds. One of the biggest ways we transform is when we connect with others and we have shared, shared meanings, when we support each other, when you share your vision of the world and I share mine, or when we challenge each other's ideas, but it all comes by bringing people together. Do you think that that's only achievable through like physical proximity? Or can it be achieved online as long as well, the like structure is right? Well. There's, um, there's a lot of science to it, right? So, for example, Harvard, uh, Ed Diener, the psychologist at Harvard, did a very interesting study called the Very Happy People Study. And he wanted to figure out what makes people happy. So they looked at everything. Is it fancy clothes? Is it warm weather? Turns out there's only one thing that makes you happy. And it has a 0.7 correlation with happiness. For the record, one is the highest correlation, means a perfect match. 0.7 is pretty damn high and it was the strength of your social connections. Now, the problem with online is that you have a connection, but it's their strength to it. Right. But when you and I sit down in a cafe, and um, we have a deep, meaningful conversation, and we are connecting, ideally looking at each other in the eye, um, being able to see not just text on a screen, but hear your voice, see your nonverbal cues, that, in, that creates the strength in that social connection. So yes, you can have a connection with someone online, but strength, that's a different thing, and that comes from shared experiences in the real world. Yeah, no, I'm totally with that. And that study you talked about with loneliness is really terrifying. The thought of it being worse than smoking cigarettes, and I really hope people listening can identify with that. And I, the the sense of like it's lonely at the top, I have been very fortunate to avoid because my wife's my co-founder. Right. Um, 